Twas the night before Christmas, and all through London town, every creature was stirring. And please note this down, that the word on the street is, don't take it from me, that 2014 was the year for financial technology. So as you snuggle neath the sheets and fill up your stockings, let us take you on a journey, both delightful and shocking. The year in fintech, 2014. The best year that fintech has ever seen. The movers and shakers were strutting their stuff. And if Apple's payment service wasn't enough, PayPal and eBay split and now tread a separate course. 13 years together, a fintech divorce. When you're rushing through the shops amongst the huffing and puffing in search of a fairy for the tree or a turkey for stuffing, your homeward journey will restore a calm attitude as contactless payments are now active on the tube. As the dinner table becomes laden with crackers and candles and condiments, Fintech is now on the menu in the Houses of Parliament. With the launch of Innovate Finance in August this year, Fintech's voice is now in the government's ear. Before you fill your lungs for a carol or a cheery Christmas song, remember Barclays and Startup Bootcamp have now entered the throng. Joining Level 39 will soon turn two years old. Startups take heed, Fintech favours the bold. Like the wise men who brought gifts after following yonder star, or the customary fiver in their card from your grandma. Transferwise Funding Circle and Nutmeg received the gift of investment. And as fintech keeps growing, it could prove money well spent. Bitcoin is a Christmas present that won't have you yawning, especially as you don't know what it will be worth in the morning. But it might just change how the world uses money, and here are the facts. It's made investors get rich and Silk Road collapse. So there you have it, the year in fintech wrapped up in a poem. So go forth and enjoy the presents caroling, turkey and snowing, safe in the knowledge that fintech has scaled new heights. Happy Christmas to you all and to all a good night.